Pokeball from chat, right? Let's get him. Fuck him up. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We got a very meaningful game for me today. Um, I've been on a horrible losing streak today, fighting into Half Ghost's Uller Uller Kali with all of my sub requests. And I don't need to tell you how painful it is uh, running into a, you know, a formidable player that is playing the top gods. It is fucking mind-numbing and it hurts your soul so badly when you're not on a uh you know a god of uh um a god of what whatever the fuck <laughs> a viable god <laughs> so we find ourselves up against hebo as poseidon an extremely difficult matchup i just lost to uh hebo as soul very very convincingly <laughs> very very convincingly and uh it's time this guy is from chat mobile, so I'm going to be talking smack in the uh, name of love. And we're going to have to find a way to win this. Uh, not a good start. Not a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. How about that? Mm-hmm. How you like that? You don't, do you? So, better start for him than it is for me, though. Wow, that's not even hitting the back line yet. This is an incredibly difficult matchup. It's not one I would wish on my worst enemy. But I need to find a way to win it. I don't think I'm going to, <laughs> to be honest. It looks like Moobal knows what he's doing. That last guy that I lost to, that I should have been able to win. He had no idea. Moobal seems to know how to poke correctly. He's He has a good head on his shoulders for that. Shit. Nah. That is rip. Alright, that's good, that's good. Yahoo! Yo, Sal Gaming, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Let's fucking go! Get up! <laughs> Alright, so Moobul got super baited there. He had an Aegis to him, no Sunder on his part or meditation, so I realized that if I was able to get that out quickly enough, just Sunder, uh, one. We'd be able to get it. And luckily, we did. Time to dip, though. Sal Gaming, thank you so much. Welcome to the Shadow Realm, buddy. Thank you. Gonna go straight for Warlocks, I guess. Nah, man, I don't know. You know, you need Gem of Iso on Poseidon, but it doesn't work out against Hebo's carpet. So it's quite awkward. But if you don't go health at all, like, you really, you really fuck up. He's actually ahead of me, though, in experience. Just gold, I'm slightly ahead. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got the buff though. Okay, okay. We're good. Good shit. So that's his blue down. He didn't Aegis, instead he ulted. Very smart. He immuned it. If he got the buff there, I would have been so sad. He's already up in experience, and I needed, you know, I needed that. I needed to either kill him or get that buff. I think I'm still going to go ISO because it got buffed anyway. So it's a lot of power. Gives me the health that I need. And I don't want to go warlocks because I need to get I need to keep this snowball rolling. At least I can slow him a lot before his water carpet is like never on cooldown. You know, I guess that'll be our game plan here. Mm. 
<laughs> yes, definitely so. Thank you, man. So we got two blues, yet we're still nearly even experience. Because I missed out on uh, like half of the wave. I figured if I pulled the trigger really, whoa, 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 really quickly on that. And baited him. Get up. Yeah, buddy. Um, yeah, just pulled the trigger on the uh, the ult without the um, whirlpool under him. He might not uh, register to ult in time or Aegis. I don't know. I feel like he had the Aegis oh, um, up. Now this is up. I don't want to bait myself though. With that creep wave there, I think we have time. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Sometimes you can see that Hebo ult coming from a mile away, you know? You know when he's looking for it, when he's got you in his sights. Hey, Lloyd, thank you so much. This is all I have. Nice, thank you for the two dollars. I really appreciate it. This is all I have. You say, man, that's more than enough. Thank you so much. We are at 521 subs now, I think. So I'm going to go to uh, tier 2 uh, of this talisman and build into Pen now. He's going into Warlocks. See, the difference between me going Warlocks um, and not going in here is my uh, my snowball potential. If I was still, if I had uh, Warlocks, you know, unstacked here, I wouldn't have nearly as much power uh, as the Gem of Iso is delivering. I, would, I hate when it doesn't clear the buff. So him, now that he's going that Warlocks, we can uh, rely on the fact that he's not going to be at his full potential for quite a little while here and keep continuing to try to, you know, barrel over him. Nah, I can't do that. Figure I might as well test it while he's over in mid. And yeah, so like I said, they did buff uh, ISO. It's got 90 magical power on it now. It's a very potent item. Mages should be looking to pick this up more often in general. Not just uh, ones like Poseidon that, you know, that the kit synergizes so well with it. <laughs> yeah, giraffe. That's something I've always done, dude. Uh, looking up to see if the buff is there in real life. Um, with, with, in like Smash too. Like if I wanted to live in Smash, like I would like try to move my body in such a way that the you know <laughs> that I wouldn't get knocked outside the blast zone. See now we can slow him because he's off of it, and now he's back on it. <laughs> Oh. Damn. That's unfortunate because I used my uh, my active now and I didn't get anything off of it. Mobile's really slipping now. I don't. I think it's nerves. As you can see in the beginning, like he was pressuring really well and he had the right idea. Um, but now he's uh, he seems like a little unsure at times when he should be sure. 
fuck, I missed that. Good. See, like there, I'm able to beat him way too easily. Let me take this easy peasy. See, like I was saying, uh, Hebo, he barely even needs an Aegis in this matchup because he can just ult it. You kind of, you have to surprise ult him or else there's, you know, there's no way you're, you're going to be able to get that off. Either he'll Aegis it or he'll, or he'll ult it. So I might throw out some qu questionable ults, alright? Gotta go sprint here. Mm. Double pen is actually what uh, Fate wants me to go. That's the request for this game. So I'll be going uh, Spear. They're buffing a Void Stone for the next patch. I would have just gone Void Stone. Maybe I should just go Void Stone, honestly. I don't know. Good shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god, thank you. Almost completely through that. I tried to sunder from a really uh, big distance without much, like, you know, momentum going, so I didn't follow through well. Don't spoil the patch. What? You have to <laughs> you have to put up uh, spoiler warnings for patch notes now. Come on, guys. He went blink, so that he can try to get the uh, the scoop on me, the drop on me before uh, before I can really get myself set up. <sighs> That's disgusting, you dirty son of a bitch. That's annoying, cause like I said, I need everything to go my way. Dude, it's even such like a small skirmish going his way and him getting my blue buff is it's big for him. Slightest sign of weakness, he'll win. That sounds good, Sal. Maybe I can ult as he threes. Like that might be a way. Cause then he's in the animation already. Wow, I took a lot there. For somebody that has Bulwark finish, I took a lot of damage there. Wow, he left this wide open. Give me a ticket. Oh, that blink though. Okay, that was bad, but. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, wow, look at the hit from that thing, though. <laughs> My god. It's awkward, though, because I really want to go Fatalis, and going this uh, double pen is is restricting, because then if I go Fatalis now, I can't go Rod. Got him! God damn! He was not prepared for the amount of damage that that, that Whirlpool was going to do, and that's due to the uh, Spear of the Magus, actually. So, shoutouts. And the red buff. Red buff carried us through that entire thing. I'm not sure that I am going to be at Worlds, Cat Pharaoh. I got to see, man. My girlfriend's got a really big um, opportunity at that time. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to travel um, there alone with uh, my anxiety problems. Uh, there's a reason that I wasn't able to make it to the first Worlds. Um... Yeah. We'll have to see them. We will see. But I want to mislead you guys and be like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be there. And then, like, people you know, plan to, uh, to meet me there, and I'm not there, so, I want to be honest with you, you know? Yeah, my girlfriend's got this opportunity to, uh, do a, uh, um, it's sort of like an internship, it's, uh, something else, um, in D.C., uh, with her, through her law school, um, and it's, it's a really nice big opportunity, so, you know, definitely, I want her to do that. Um, but it, it should be, you know, it's on me whether I, I'm able to make it there or not. I have to be up to see how my mental health is doing at the time. Hopefully things balance out and all. We'll see. Thanks, Cat. Jesus. Awkward by me. That's good, it's down. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Fucking Christ, what, what was my HP? What was his HP? That was, that was nutty as hell. <laughs> Jesus. So bad of me, I thought that I was able to auto through the wall there, but I wasn't. You know, not through the wall, but through the, like, um, what's it called? Uh, through the railing, because you can through that railing. Look how much damage I do to the Titan. Fuck. This build is pretty crazy. No, it doesn't, Brad. I mean, there's, I guess there's uh, a level of it, but not like entirely. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. That's how it's done, Tyron. Back into it. What was that? I guess I just completely missed. Get shit on! Nice, man. The Sunders with those fucking. What is it called? Tidal Wave? Tidal Surge? With those Tidal Surge? You're such a. It's so fucking cool, man. It's such a big burst of damage, and your opponent can't really prepare for it well. That's cool. Sunder is my baby.
GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, remember to um, subscribe to the channel, uh, the YouTube channel that is. And uh, I'll see you next time.